Schizophrenia is oftentimes one of those diagnoses in psychiatry that is often very misunderstood. There's a lot of misconceptions that uh, individuals with schizophrenia have a higher propensity for violence. Um, and the actuality is that their uh, propensity for violence isn't anywhere near high as the general population. I think it's going to be very important for us to try to give a little bit of education about kind of what the clinical criteria is for schizophrenia as well as the DSM-5. The DSM-5 is kind of this diagnostic statistical manual that has been uh, put together with uh, medical professionals across you know, the world that kind of have set this criteria that helps us to kind of follow to make sure everyone's on the same page. Uh, to be able to make a diagnosis of schizophrenia, you must have two out of the four criteria, uh, delusions, hallucinations, disorganized speech, extreme emotional dysregulation and abnormal motor movements and negative symptoms. Uh, and it must be there for at least 30 days. Can't be accounted for by any other um, mental health disorder and or um, substance abuse. So those things have to be ruled out and those symptoms have to be there consistently, two of the four criteria for at least 30 days. Um, we look for things such as delusions. Uh, delusions are these fixed false beliefs that an individual uh, may have that's not um, sorted in reality. Disorganized speech, as well as individuals that can become extremely disorganized or have abnormal movements, uh, individuals that may experience negative symptoms. Oftentimes they're having difficulties with hygiene, there are ADLs, um, they also experience a lot of isolation. We also look at hallucinations. Hallucinations can come in various different forms, auditory hallucinations, visual hallucinations, and also tactile hallucinations. Um, just like you're hearing my voice as, as clear as day, uh, individuals that are experiencing auditory hallucinations oftentimes are experiencing hallucinations and in responding to internal stimuli without having anyone uh, around, as well as experiencing the visual hallucinations. Uh, and the tactile hallucinations, they oftentimes experience body movement or irregularities with feeling like things are crawling on their skin. There are a lot of different subtypes of schizophrenia. For example, there's a catatonic uh, schizophrenia. They have very abnormal muscle movements where they uh, have a hard time speaking or moving uh, with a lot of delusional thoughts and thinking. Uh, another subtype uh, of schizophrenia is disorganized type, paranoid type, uh, residual or even an undifferentiated uh, type of schizophrenia that doesn't really fall into some of the other categories. People feel as if as soon as you get the diagnosis of schizophrenia that you know you, you, you can't function in society. Uh, but oftentimes what we see if you have the, the right treatment, you have the right support, you have the right education, then those individuals can uh, lead very fulfilling lives. Mm -hmm.